the queues start building below 318.39 tomorrow, then yeah, I do think we'll have a proper back test. Okay, again, nobody's saying we're going to the lows. But again, Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing okay. So, you know, let's talk about it. Uh, last night, uh, you know, I thought I made a pretty decent case of uh, why I thought a little, a little bit of a back test uh, was kind of necessary for the first time. Uh, just a kind of quick review. For the first time, uh, we saw uh, a major stock like NVIDIA uh, go down actually reporting bad news. And then we saw something we haven't seen in a couple of weeks, stocks such as Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, so forth and so on, um, kind of fail, right? After reclaiming a previous range. And, and that was kind of uh, what I called, and just was called in, in general, uh, a little bit of a bias strike, right? Just the same way uh, in a bear market when you have uh, stocks just continue to go lower, 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 eventually there's nobody left to sell shares. You know, sellers get tired and the market just kind of reverses. Um, and this was kind of the opposite, right? You know, the market has been going up for uh, two weeks in a row. And yesterday was the first day that everything that we just talked about a couple of minutes ago kind of played out. And this is where buyers just got tired and that's what it was. And we, we, we talked about uh, a very, very key level last night. We went over it uh, several times, this 318.39 level. And this is, you know, this is the area that is in, in front of everybody, right? And, that, and that's the whole point. I, I think, you know, and I've been kind of driving this point home, especially for new traders. New traders are looking everywhere for the answers, right? Social media, this way, that way, this one, the out one, this one knows, this one doesn't know. It, it's right in front of you. It's, it's literally right in front of you. The same data that I have, you have in front of you. And, and, and every night when you do your research, you can make your, your assessment, right? You can make, you can have your opinion, not based on ego, not based on what do you think is gonna happen six months from now, what's gonna happen tomorrow? Where are the key levels tomorrow that if those levels reclaim or those levels in this case uh, break, you can take advantage of those levels. Now, going into uh, going into today from, from last night's video, you know, we talked about no, nobody's talking about a crash, right? Nobody's talking about a crash. Nobody's talking about the markets going to go back to the lows. All we're talking about was, hey, if this level uh, gets taken down 318.39, there's a good chance we get to the 10-day moving average. And that's exactly what happened today. That's all it is. That was all the event. Uh, we talked about Tesla last night. We talked about in the video last night, day two, uh, after a, a miss in earnings, and they all played out. And that was the and that was the whole point. And now, uh, after today's you know after today's move, you look you know you look up you know the Dow was down what nothing, fifty eight points. Uh, the S and P was down nothing, half of a percent. And the Nasdaq, after a phenomenal run, I mean absolutely a phenomenal phenomenal run, all of the today was test back the ten day moving average down. Uh, a little bit more than 1% on the day. What I like to see, right? What, what I would love to see just one more day. I would love to see one more day of selling only because we can get down to this level here. This level here would represent like three uh, different demand zones. And I think if we could get down to the 313 level, if we have one more day of selling, I think a lot of, a lot of you know, uh, novice traders, a lot of aggressive eager shorts could get trapped at that level and then we could start moving back up. That would be the perfect world. Again, as we all know, uh, we don't live in a perfect world. We don't trade in a perfect world. So we have to, like I said last night, always be ready for both sides of the market. Um, and when you look at uh, today's channels, right? I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the semiconductors got hit, okay? Um, you know, pretty much all over the place. Um, NVIDIA, and we'll, and we'll get to the pivots in a second. NVIDIA, you know, just basically barely hung on to the 50 day moving average. And again, everybody understands how important the 50 day was. You see here, you hear, you see here the first time the video closed uh, all the way on four six below the 50 day moving average, what happened, right? So the video got spared today, right? Remember that's today. So we're gonna use uh, today's channel, right? Going forward in the next few days as kind of the line in the sand, because if this thing eventually does lose the 50 day, and again, we're just speculating, we don't know. You know, the video could turn around tomorrow and start taking out highs in a couple of weeks. But and we do know, you know, from from experience, we do know from uh, technical a technical past performance that once we fall below the 50 day moving average, bad things happen. So this is something that we definitely, definitely want to watch uh, for the next couple of days. And this is why we keep on reiterating the point 
on the overall market, right? We're above the 50-day moving average. That's why you're getting so much really good aggressive buying on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, you'll have some days that the market takes a little bit of breather and you have to be kind of ready for that and not be naive that it can't happen. But generally, right, the generally, we're seeing really, really bullish action. So in a perfect world, we get one more pull tomorrow, one little more pull tomorrow, uh, and we retest that 313 level. There's definitely some uh, names that I definitely like going into tomorrow's session. On the downside, right, uh, you know, names like Roku, right, names like Roku that, you know, again, is maybe just one day away if it can confirm today's channel can, can, can get hit. Uh, Intel today, you know, we talked about Intel last night. Intel broke a pretty big channel here. You know, it should get down uh, to this 34, 33, 50s level. Again, continuation there uh, as well. You know, look at a name, for example, uh, look at a name, for example, like uh, no, uh, NVAX, right? NVAX got a hammer today, right? This is pretty much not in the same case as NVIDIA as the day before, but you know, if this thing gaps up tomorrow and gets stuffed into supply, starts going, you know, green to red and loses today's channel, this thing should have a day two, uh, day two hit as well. So there's definitely, you know, there's definitely ideas to the downside. Even Tesla, uh, we, which was pretty good today. Again, we covered Tesla last night in the video. I, I would love to see one more, one more day, one more pull of this thing so it could get, you know, if it starts breaking down below this little channel here, you know, maybe get down to this 327, 330 level and then try, kind of try to uh, trap some shorts at that level of the 20 day moving average only to spike again. So there's definitely things uh, I'm watching to the downside, some charts that look interesting to the upside. Look at CVS is just kind of flagging here after a pretty good uh, earnings run. Uh, a name, for example, um, you know, look, look at some of the banks, not necessarily for tomorrow. I, I was just, I was going through the S&P 500. And I, I kind of noticed how they were just hanging in there. You know, this is pretty good, right? This is when you know uh, the market is stable and just resting a lot of groups uh, that had good runs. Like, for example, Goldman had a really, really good run. It's just resting. Look at Citibank, right? It's just kind of going sideways. Even some of the insurance names, you know, like an Aflac look really, really good, right? I mean, this, so look, the, 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 the charts look healthy, right? Technology uh, definitely getting a well-deserved pullback. And again, we're just trading day by day, you know, you know, day by day, trade by trade. I have a plan again going for tomorrow. Um, you know, tomorrow you have the, the CPI coming up. Uh, no, I'm not thinking about it. And no, neither should you. You have no control of what's happening. Is we all know the economy's crap. It's not gonna. They're not gonna blow you away with anything that number one is gonna make your eyebrows raise. But number two, nobody understands what the hell they're talking about anyway. So whatever the result of the CPI is, the result of the CPI. That's why again, you have to be. You know, you have to be on the ball and have setups on both sides. Like after the close, for example, you had TTD. TTD looked great. You know, reported a really good quarter. Had a nice run prior to the quarter. Uh, on the flip side, you got Coinbase, you know, down a little bit. And that and that's the whole point. In this type of market, it's only down a little bit. The stock is only down $3 after the close. Uh, after a phenomenal run, including, uh, you know, including, what was it? Uh, what was it Blackstone? The Blackstone PR. So, you know, would, would it shock me if Coin turned around and went red to green tomorrow and exploded like pretty much everything else that reported uh, subpar earnings? Not at all. You know, it wouldn't shock me at all. So, we, again, the, the most important part is there's, there's a lot of times in, in your trading career, like, for example, when, we've been, when we were, you know, for seven months underneath the 50-day moving average, you know, again, we, we, we knew we were underneath the 50-day moving average. Yes, you're going to have some days that the market ran out, but the predominant days are going to be with the trend underneath supply. It was going to be negative. And now we have the complete opposite. Yes, you can have a couple of days of rest. Hopefully, again, like I said, we need one more day. I'd love to see just one more day of rest uh, for the bulls. But again, would it shock me if they go higher tomorrow? Not at all. Again, you know, even names like Microsoft held up uh, fairly well today. So I'm going to kind of watch Microsoft as well, just in case the market starts waking up as well. So nothing really should kind of throw us off guard tomorrow. Um, I, I, I think, again, if you do your research today and look at the names that had disappointing earnings like a uh, like an NVAX for a possible day two decline, it's out there. Uh, when you look for a possible stock that stood out today, uh, as all the other uh, tech names were kind of falling apart like a Microsoft, it's right there. It's in front of you. You can see where the strength is. So would it shock me if Microsoft starts taking out today's channels to the upside and we kind of start moving back the other way? Yeah, that's the one you want to focus on. You want to focus on the names 
that didn't go down uh, during the climb. So sometimes, you know, you have to put in a lot of thought. You have to, you know, start watching a lot of moving parts. But sometimes, again, you're just pretty much in the moment. You, you kind of know, uh, you kind of know where the general uh, dynamics of the market is. We had a great run. We had a two-day decline. We tested the 10-day moving average. Again, if we lose the 10-day moving average and this uh, important level going into tomorrow, like yesterday, the important level we talked about on the video was 318.39. Today's important level is 315.40. If it loses 315.40 tomorrow, then yes, we will get one more move down to this 313 level. And this is where you might want to start looking at some of your favorite stocks in case they do respect and defend their own levels. That's it. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, going into tomorrow, today, a uh, very solid session. Uh, the Qs uh, lost their number, got smacked. Uh, you had Tesla we talked about last night. We had NVIDIA we talked about last night. Really, really good moves there as well. And now the day is over, and now we are moving on and focusing for the next uh, trading day to see how many uh, how many more days of rest or are we going to resume uh, tomorrow's action. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Again, here is the big number. Uh, ETF lovers, uh, 318.38, huge area. It's the five-day support. If it builds below, it can flush. And again, went all the way down to the 315 level. Really nice move on the Qs. Uh, NVIDIA got smashed today. Uh, 172.42, if it builds below, uh, can flush, right? It traded down to, to 170. That was the 50-day moving average. Once it broke 170, it went all the way down to 167.5. That 67.5 is going to be your line in the sand for the next few weeks and this is again what's so important about understanding technical analysis you knew exactly where everything was so here is the 7240s right here is the 170 it bounced it took out 170 and went all the way down here so this is again here's the line the sand uh going forward uh you got tesla again just a, a phenomenal stock long short sideways it doesn't make a difference just a phenomenal uh phenomenal trading vehicle on both sides uh a56 if it builds below can flush we'll try to find a cleaner entry we just couldn't find it but a56 was that was the big key here and look at the move on tesla just a phenomenal phenomenal move uh it took out 856 it took out uh, excuse me, A56 was the low here on uh, the 10 day support and it traded all the way down to 838. I think if this thing has one more day, uh, one more day, if it takes down today's se selling, I think it gets somewhere in the, in the 825s, 830 level for tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if there's another uh, entry there. Uh, Intel, again, I know a lot of you guys are still um, swinging this thing. This thing is way too slow for me. But hey, to each his own. Who am I? You know, a chart is a chart is a chart. Uh, held five times daily. If it builds below, it can finally flush. Here's Intel again. Is this a big move? Is this a small move? But no, you know, who knows? Listen, to each his own, right? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Again, a little too slow for me, but hey, here's a 35 break. It held five times. It closed within 12 cents of the lows. If this thing confirms, should get down to, you know, 33, 70s, 30, you know, nice move. So again, if you're swinging this thing, uh, just manage your uh, position. Uh, Wayfair never confirmed. Here's a little one that went up today. Uh, TGTX uh, 757 needs to build. Uh, not a huge move, right? But not everything could be a Tesla, right? Not everything could be a Tesla. So TGTX took out the 757, traded up uh, to 776 before it came down a little bit. Hey, 20 cents on a $7 stock. I don't know. Is that good? Is that bad? Who the hell knows, right? Fold never qu quite made it up to the 1273 level. Uh, Qs take on the way down. Uh, yeah, they, they they were coming for the 800 puts. It looked it looked really, you know, it looked pretty violent for uh, Tesla for a while. We, we, uh, we, at one point, we actually thought it might take a shot and hit, the, hit those 820, 830 levels. But you can see they were lining up for those 800 weeklies uh, expiration for the next few days so who knows maybe we'll still get uh one more day of selling there and that is it so that's it that's it uh sometimes uh the market is complex in your research sometimes uh it's pretty clear uh, pretty, pretty clean uh we're we're kind of in both sides right now we're just kind of in a distribution area that the stocks are just trying to get their second wind again we'd like to see one more day but if we don't we definitely have uh ammunition back to the upside to see uh, if we can get a resumption in upward bias. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.